Hello dear students how are you hope you all are safe and healthy and also i know you all are enjoying the online lessons today we are back with another interesting session for you all okay before i begin with today's session below given is a list of things and creatures select the things or the creatures that you think can move of their own here is the list we have mountain bird rabbit stone tree lion bag boy pencil fish frog and house now let's try to drag them in the proper column we have two columns columns for the movables and for the immovables can we drag okay let's start mountain okay let's drag it here very good bird movable or immovable it's movable rabbit movable stone immovable it cannot move of its own tree immovable lion movable bag immovable boy yes tell me movable very good pencil immovable then what about fish it is movable frog movable very good and house immovable so dear students now we have categorized these creatures and things on the basis of their mobility among all these movable creatures we see that they do not move in the same manner or if we think about all these creatures we can say that some have wings like birds some have limbs like rabbit some have scales on their body some crawl and some even hop or jump i know you all might be thinking why am i talking about movement dear students the chapter we are going to take up today is taken from your english textbook merry gold of grade 3 the name of the chapter is how creatures move yes what is the name how creatures move let's begin the chapter with this wonderful poem let's try to recite and understand this poem how do creatures move the lion walks on padded paws the squirrel leaps from limb to limb while flies can crawl straight up a wall and seals can dive and swim the worm he wiggles all around the monkey swings by his tail and birds may hop upon the ground or spread their wings and sail but boys and girls have much more fun they leap and dance and walk and run i hope you all have enjoyed this poem let's recite it one more time the lion walks on padded paws the squirrel leaps from limb to limb while flies can crawl straight up a wall and seals can dive and swim the worm he wiggles all around the monkey swings by his tail and birds may hop upon the ground or spread their wings and sail but boys and girls have much more fun they leap and dance and walk and run i hope you all have enjoyed reciting it with me now in this poem we have discussed that there are various animals and how they move for example the lion walks on their padded means very soft paws and the squirrel use their limbs means body parts 
the flies crawl and the worms they move by wiggling that is they rub their body against the ground while moving and the sea animals like seal they take a dive means they jump into the water bodies not only this but the naughty monkey it uses its tail and limbs to climb from branch to branch on the other hand the birds use their wings and fly smoothly however among all these creatures the boys and the girls enjoy the most why because they jump they dance they walk and they run like you i hope you all have understood this poem now it's time to attempt an interesting task in the poem we can see there are various action words describing the movement of different creatures below given are the two columns column a contains the list of animals and column b contains the list of movement or action words related to their corresponding animal let's try and match can you see the column a it contains the list of animals and column b is containing the list of words related to the movement also in the end you have to frame a sentence matching these two column words okay let's try in column a we have lions squirrels flies seals worms monkeys and birds okay so do you want to try with me let's try lions yes what do lions do they walk very good you can match lions with walk squirrels yes we have read this in the poem the squirrels leap next flies flies crawl next seal seals dive next is worms worms wiggle next monkeys yes monkeys swing can you see in the picture yes monkeys swing from branch to branch next birds birds yes what is left the last one birds hop i hope you all have enjoyed this now you have to make a sentence using both these words for example the first one the lions walk with their soft paws another example is the squirrels leap around the banyan tree here the word for the movement is leap next example we can make a sentence as well the flies crawl on the wall similarly we can say the worms wiggle on the ground the monkeys swing on the branches of the trees the birds hop on the ground like this you can make sentences of some more words related to movement let's try another activity in the poem we have seen there are certain rhyming words in the box given below there are certain words and also there are words with rhyme with these given words try to find out the pairs of rhyming words from the words given in the box below the words are pause limb run ground tail swing around claws snail and fun yes can you select the pair of rhyming words okay let me help you out let's check the first word pause pause it makes a rhyme with the word claws next is limb try to find out yes i know you all can do it yes 
Swing. Very good. Run. Try to find out. Fun. Next is ground. Ground makes a rhyme with the word around. Rest is tail. Try to find out yourself. Very good. So, I leave these words for you. Now, let's move ahead. In this poem, How Creatures Move, we studied about different movements of different creatures. Below given are certain words related to the movement. Arrange them on the basis of the movement which is the slowest to the movement which is the fastest. Arrange these movements on the basis of their speed. The words are run, walk, hop and crawl. Let's try and also you can look at the images. What do you think? Which is the slowest movement? Yes, can I say crawl? Look at the picture. Can you see the snail crawling so slowly? Next, we can say it's walk. Good. Then we can say it's hop. Can you see the birds hopping? Even rabbits also hop. And their movement is faster than walking. Last but not the least, the fastest movement will be run. Yes. Can you see a cheetah running or a lion running? Yes. So the words we have arranged in the proper sequence are crawl, walk, hop and run. Now, Sometimes we come across certain words in which certain alphabets are silent. Underline the letters which are silent in the following words. Let's have a look at the list of the words given below. The words are walk, straight, more, cot and talk. I am repeating these words. Listen to these words carefully and try to catch the words which are silent or whose sound is not heard while speaking the word. I am repeating. Carefully listen. Walk, straight, more, caught and talk. Yes, I know you all have guessed by this repetition. Now, in the first word walk, the letter which is silent is L. We say walk, not walk. There is no sound of L. L is silent. Then straight. The silent alphabets or letters are G and H. In more, the silent alphabet is E. In court, the silent alphabets are G and H. Similarly, in talk, the silent alphabet is L. Very good. Now, let's have a look at these three columns having a list of words. Carefully look at the first column. The words are are honest, knife and not. In the second column, the words are would, should, calf and half. And in the last column, words are climb, dumb, calm and numb. Now, let's try with me. Find out the alphabet or the letter which is silent in the first column. Let's try. The first word is R. Can you listen to the sound of H? No. So, H is the silent alphabet in the word R. Similarly, H is silent in the word honest. In knife and not, K and K are the silent alphabets. 
we see sometimes these silent letters they may appear in the first place of a word and if we go to second column let's check out the silent letters the first word is wood then we have should calf and half in all these words letter l is silent we pronounce w o u l d as wood not as wood it means wood is the correct pronunciation where l is silent similarly in should l is silent in calf l is silent and in half also l is silent so sometimes the silent alphabet appears in the middle of the word as well check out the last column the words were climb dump comb and numb so the silent alphabet is b which is appearing in the end of the word or which appears in the last of the word so b in climb b in dumb b in comb and b in numb everywhere b is silent i hope you have enjoyed this activity try to find more words where you have silent letters okay now let's try this exercise it's quite an interesting one and i hope many of you have observed the movements of these creatures given in the box here is a list of the creatures given in the box and below given are three different columns in the first column we have to write the creatures or the animals which can fly then we have to choose and drag the animals in the second column which can crawl and in the end we have to select the animals that can walk so the list goes like this we have snail bat mynah lion sparrow donkey lizard dog crocodile honey bee snake crow horse worm monkey and cat select the animal or the creature that can fly yes select we can say bats very good then we have minor then sparrow then we have honey bee crow good now it's time to select the creatures that crawl come on select from the given list the first one we can say is snail then select we have crocodile then we have lizard snake worm very good and last the animals that can walk on their limbs or that walk with the help of their limbs we have lion we have donkey we have dog horse cat and monkey all these can walk i hope today you have understood about different movements and also we came to know about silent letters next in the poem we have heard that boys and girls have most of the fun why because they can dance they can walk they can jump and they can run okay now what do you do when you are bored tell me how do you spend your free time
there are certain pictures given in the box try to frame sentences and tell what do you like to do also you can add more pictures of your choice related to your favorite pastime activity let's try the first one yes can you see this picture okay let's try to make a sentence and i hope many of you love to do this like i can say i love to read stories in my free time the next picture yes can you see yes it's related to swimming or in this somebody is trying to swim so i can say i love to swim when i get bored the next image yes you can say here somebody is dancing very good so frame a sentence of your own the next in the next image we can see somebody is singing next you can see someone loves to sleep next somebody is cooking watching tv somebody is painting a picture and someone wants to go for shopping so try to frame the sentences based on the actions given in the column and you can also paste some more pictures dear students i hope you all have enjoyed today's video based on how creatures move in today's session we learnt about movement of different creatures and also we learn different terms related to their movement we will meet again to continue this unit with a new story till then stay safe stay healthy and happy learning thank you